Hello, this is Hunter Omerzo from Dickinson's Arc 250, um, Great Crew Legend and Sanctuaries, and this is my uh, Aegean Bronze Age Palace project, where we had to kind of construct our own palace. One of the things we could do is build one in Minecraft, so I took that route. Um, I felt like Doc was kind of uh, calling me out, challenging me, since I submitted a Minecraft project a couple of weeks ago. Um, anyway, this uh, the location of my palace, you can see kind of the block in the middle left there, out on that peninsula. Uh, this is uh, my proposed location which is actually pretty close to this map, um, is the island of Mykolos, if I'm saying that right. Um, I'm probably mispronouncing it. But anyway, there is a port there. I don't know if there are any palaces there actually, or any settlements. I'm sure there was something. Here is my palace that I constructed. Uh, we'll get back to the boats later. But, here is the entrance. See, I tried my best to do some uh, Horns of Consecration above all the entrances. Um, I went with the kind of limestone and red and orange and black kind of paint scheme. Um, as well as kind of a stone roof, or at least stone painted roof construction. Um, this kind of hallway moves around. I don't know if you can hear those ambient noises. It's kind of annoying. Um, but this loops around the whole structure. Um, kind of as a defense slash just it looks nice. Um, but I guess we'll s go in. To the left, we have just kind of a workshop I threw together. Um, not super accurate to anything, but I figured there probably would be one in a place like this. Uh, we have some armor. Uh, anvil, workbench, just your average stuff. Um, this here is kind of the throne building, or like the main hall. Um, we tried our best to do some cool designs on the outside. Uh, I didn't have enough room to really make spirals, um, so I did kind of this design, and a little bit of that is mimicked over there, but this is kind of unique to this building. Anyway, we have some wall art that, that I did to the best of my ability. Um, over here we have a um, light, what are they called? Uh, light well, yeah. Um, it goes all the way to the top and goes to the second floor there. This door is partitioned, as you can see. Um, here is the throne room. I got as close as I could to some griffin. Uh, iconography. Uh, I kind of went overboard a little bit, but I thought it looked cool. Um, here we have a lustral basin, which I kind of took some creative liberty and made it a bath, as some people have proposed they were. Uh, we also have some simulated stone. This is real stone game, but that was really the only way I could do it. Uh, along the bottom here, like we saw in many throne rooms. Um, we'll head upstairs, where we have just kind of some some other wall art, and how, how I kind of made these uh, windows. Uh, I don't know if this would be accurate, but I wanted to stick with kind of the pillar aesthetic. Um, so definitely not like childproof or anything like that, but. 
It works. Looks nice. Anyway, heading out, we have a courtyard with uh, an altar in the middle. Um, try to do some like religious stuff here. And adjacent to the courtyard, we have the storage magazines um, with built-in grain storage down there. Over here, we have another courtyard. There's a villager that I tried to get stay in here, but they all kind of scattered, so I gave up on that. This would be the kind of residential uh, building where they would stay. Here's another light well. It goes all the way through the building. We have more uh, partition doors as well as a lot of pillars kind of lying around for structural support. Uh, we have kind of just a general living space here with uh, table, chairs, bench, mat. And we also have what I tried to make, a little tripartite shrine or altar. Um, putting anything on these ones was difficult because they're half blocks and the game's weird. Uh, so I didn't want anything floating, so I just stuck with a simple uh, skull on top. Kind of the same thing here. Uh, these upper levels are a little split to make it all not look like one big block and be boring. So we have some open air areas around there as well. Same thing with up here. We put the shrine outside on this one. All of them have kind of the same general stuff inside. I didn't get too crazy with that. Anyway, we could kind of take you around the outside. Of course, it's going to rain on me. Anyway, I had them built. I had the whole city built up a little bit. Um, as they would do. Here's all the villagers trying to escape. It's in an Acadia biome, which is pretty similar to like arid coastal Greece. Uh, I think it would be a kind of a good spot. Um, but my proposed city is going to specialize in shipbuilding. As you can see. So I uh, took inspiration from some Bronze Age uh, ship pictures I could find on Google. That's kind of as far as that went. Because um, oars, I did my best to put something here that looked like shields. Uh, a lot of them had little tails, kind of, and uh, some gold-like figureheads up front. I don't know if these colors would have been used at all. They just kind of look nice, and some of the paint or paintings and pictures have some colored sails. Anyway, uh, another thing that was bonus points was uh, proposing other places they would trade with and what they would be trading. So my city would be trading boats. Um, that would be their main thing. Um, they might do some other things like pottery or their artsy stuff. I don't know. There's not really a whole lot around. So I would guess they would be getting, since it's the main palace in the area, getting a lot of taxes and other things from other places they're protecting and trading with uh, in the form of food and whatnot. Um, so they wouldn't really have to do a whole lot of that for themselves. Alright, and we'll go take a look at some of these other places, just procedurally generated villages, because that took a long time, and I didn't want to have to do that over again, especially three times. So, there were some pretty well-placed villages around the coast of the bay here. Um, so this one, it's maybe trade like wood that we would use for ships and things. Um, and I'll take you over across the bay. I'll probably just uh, cut this part out. 
Alright, so here is another one of these villages. Has kind of has a river running through it, so maybe it would be good farmland. Um, there is a lot of hay and things lying around. Um, and some animals. Uh, also because it has a river running through it, you might have better access to like clay and things for pottery. And I'll take you over here. Maybe in the meantime between these villages I can throw up some uh, of the screenshots I took while making the palace. Uh, it took me quite a long time, but it was a good break from regular homework. So here's the other village. Um, because this one is kind of jutted out into the sea, it has some bridges and things, I figure it might be a good like fishing village. You can maybe get some food from that way. Um, also because of its proximity to mountains, maybe some good quarries there for limestone, which is used to build our palace. Um, other than that, that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching.